Well, Marlisa Goldsmith joins us now from her home after speaking with one community leader who has a message about all of this that's going on. Marlisa. Yeah, Craig, and his message is not a complicated one. He's actually asking people to really think about the fact that this year is no ordinary year. It's an election year, and that means you have a chance to use your voice and make a difference. In a recently rolled out campaign by Little Rock's St. Mark Baptist Church, they're urging the community to get fired up to make change happen. We're asking people simply to do three things. We want them to be informed, uh, we want them to get involved, and we want them to go vote. On their website, you'll find things like important voting dates, information on candidates, registration status, and options for voting. The Get Fired Up campaign is an attempt to take all the passion and energy that's been part of the overwhelming reaction to this year's civil unrest and social injustices. This anger, this frustration, um, this sense that we're not being heard uh, creates this angst and what do I do with all of this energy? Uh, so that's the idea. It's taking it. It's, it's not denying it. It's not trying to make light of it. Uh, it's taking it and let's use it in productive ways. George Floyd's death at the hands of police in Minneapolis sparked protest across the country. Back in June, Pastor Philip Pointer was one of several local leaders who sat down with me for a roundtable discussion on what could be done to prompt change. This is just one step, but a major one in an effort to take that same energy and put it into solution-oriented action. Uh, it's about uh, being informed on the issues uh, that are on the ballots, uh, knowing uh, what uh, these issues are and what impact they will have on our communities uh, and being aware uh, of how the process really works uh, so that I don't react uh, to something negative. I am proactive to prevent those negative things from happening. There's so much important information included on that campaign site. We have a link to the site posted under this story on THV11.com. I'll be back in a few minutes with an election update, but for now, 